Time to get up. Oh, let's see what sort of day it's going to be today. A lovely one by the look of it. Nice and fresh. So, I've got up at half past six or just gone, and it's time for a vid grenier. So while I wake up, let's have a look online to see what vid greniers, which are yard sales, are on in the area. I know there's at least two. Try that one first. And if that one's no good, I'll go on to the next one maybe. Quick drink. No time for breakfast yet. Breath fresh air around the garden. And I'll be on my merry way. So the first vid, vid grenier I'm going to try this morning, uh, it's their fate day which is an annual event where all the villages come out and they have music and food and all lovely stuff like that so probably going to try that one first. Never been there before but um, I'm sure it would be uh, well worth the visit. And the next one is probably about 15 minutes away from there. Now Sam's gone up ahead so I'll probably meet her at one of those and uh, yeah the weather's lovely. Let's get cracking. So I've arrived at the first vid grenier. Kind of stumbled across it really. There weren't many signposts. Anyway, it's set out quite strangely on a main road and in a field. So let's go and see what we can see. You never know. It's meant to be 300 stalls, but that's nice looking. Very dubious. Anyway, it might be in a different area. This is rather strange, there's only a few stalls here. I'm either in the wrong place. Well that is it. That's all there is. Back in the car I think. Must be somewhere else. Now the last few vid greniers I've been to, I haven't actually found much at all really. The odd piece here and there, but quality pieces nevertheless. So anyway, what I've done today, <laughs> what sometimes happens I don't draw any money out so I haven't got too much on me and sometimes what that does it helps me find really good things I've done it before in the past where I've had no money and since ain't really really brilliant so I don't always go to the bank the times I've walked around with loads of money and not found nothing so let's see whether it works today you might think I'm mad I might be mad right I think this one's set out all through the street so in the right place, activate secret filming. Someone had beat me to it and uh, cherry picked all the best stuff. <laughs> there was two bags full of really really good stuff but the, uh, the seller said they're sold and the person will be back for them in a moment so didn't mind. Often happens. <laughs> I'll find something else. Well, I've just found something and it's a fabulous little sugar or caramel pan. De Hillerin, very good make. So yeah, it's been well worth coming just for that. So, happy days. As usual, a fabulous atmosphere. People just getting set up, still early days. So, 
yeah maybe it is 300 stalls there's a field just up here to the left that I'm going to go and explore who knows what's in there as long as it's not lots of cow manure <laughs> I thought I would, I've just found the cow pack. <laughs> Too busy looking at the stall, step right in it, and it's walked it off. Yeah. Well that was really good, I just bought some 1950s aluminium butchers shelf brackets which come out of a butcher shop so that was good and also some corner brackets when I make me butcher's blocks. Oh yeah, never know what you're going to find, it's early days, oh I've seen some eggs as well, always nice to get some farm eggs, people sell their eggs here as well. Bonjour, c'est combien pour ça s'il vous plaît? Combien? Trois euros les oeufs. Trois? Les oeufs de ferme? Oui, deux, trois, six. Three euros for twelve eggs, and they're quality eggs as well. Farmyard eggs, plain air, which is free range. That's the breakfast sorted out. Right, let's go and try and find something for me shop. This one isn't a huge vid grenier, but you don't always need lots of stalls to find good things. There's the usual baby toys and stuff, at least it's not going into the landfill which is good. I dare say I'll find something. I've got me eggs and I've got me copper pot. Can't be bad. Just gotta root them bargains out. <laughs> sometimes they're bargains, sometimes they're not. I'm also on the lookout for renovation uh, materials for my property, so yeah. I normally find a bit of everything really. Stuff for home stuff to sell in my shop. Oh, I've got some more copper here.
always a great treat to see the old tractors out on display. Right, just going back to the car, I've got to drop off a few bits I've bought. Mm. And uh, go back and have a, another look round. So, how does this compare with a similar event that you've got in your area? A little bit quirky maybe, a little bit different. That's what I like about it. You get the aromas of all the cooking, smell of the tractors. Nice atmosphere. So that's it for this vid grenier. Got a few little bits and pieces. And uh, just gonna head off back home now. We'll have a closer look some of the bits what I've got. See you there. So I'm back home now from the vid grenier. I've got the two little copper moulds. Let's take a closer look and see what I actually bought. Very sweet. So here we have a lovely little round mould. Fill it up. Um, now the name is escaping me what this one is called. Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, can't quite remember. But yeah, it's a sweet little thing. It's stamped up Vildu. Um, yeah, so that's that and a matching mould corresponding. Same stamp, same little uh, loop. Both got a good tin interior. Haven't really been used much at all. Probably just display on the wall. Quite dusty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna polish these two up and I'm gonna show you what it looks like before and after. They've polished up like new. A little pair of moulds. I think that's called a Saravin or something like that. Slowly coming back to me. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sure you'll you all know all you bakers out there that are familiar. Already cleaned and ready to go. I shall get those listed in my Etsy shop. By the time this video goes out, they'll be ready to purchase. Be quick, because they won't be in there long. Now I did buy a few more items, um, they're in Sam's car, she's still at the Vid Grenier looking round so I won't be able to show those at the moment but I'll get those cleaned up and maybe um, share with you in the next video. So be sure to hit that reminder bell so you don't miss any more videos. See you soon, bye for now.